Okay, so I just thought I'd share this with you guys, a little tinkering I'm doing. I installed my stove plug, and when I did, I just put it in just upright, just like how the bracket was, not thinking anything about it. And then when I got to looking at the actual cord for my stove, I realized that wasn't going to work because the cord has the big rigid body to it that basically would hit the floor. So I have to rotate this receptacle 90 degrees. Now, forget the shaky camera, I have children climbing on me. Um, anyway, all, all I have to do in effect is actually rotate this faceplate. Uh, Emerson, stop it. I have to rotate this faceplate 90 degrees on the receptacle, which can be done. But to do it, you have to pull the receptacle out. Excuse me. You have to pull the receptacle out. And then there's four screws here in the back. One, two, and then there's two more on the other side. These four screws. So that gets your faceplate loose. But then you can't slide it off over the wire. So you have to take all the wires loose just to slide it off, turn it, slide it back on. So it's shaped such that you can rotate it. But it's not from that, it's not that way from the factory by default. Wish I'd have caught this before I ever hooked it up in the first place. Didn't even think about it. Now I'm thinking about it. Now I'm fighting with it and fussing with it. I've got to disconnect all these wires, rotate it, hook them all back up, put screws back in, put the receptacle back in. Also, I can plug my stove in. So, just wanted to mention that to you guys. Um, just think about that. And, and, and this one is really only, you know, most time you have a big plug like this, it's up higher in the wall, it doesn't matter. But particularly for the stove, and I thought this was ignorant when I put it in, I was surprised it was that way by design. For a stove, they are at the floor, and the bottom of your stove has a, a cutout. So if you're hooking up a plug for a stove, save yourself some headache, rotate this plug 90 degrees, at least double check it, and double check it with the cord you're gonna use, and rotate it 90 degrees upon install, or see if you can find a cord. Hope, maybe, you can, maybe you can find a cord that is shaped for like this, but is you know, rigid out to the side. Mine is rigid vertically down and that's the only cord they had at uh, Lowe's. So anyway, just thought I'd mention that, thought I'd share that. I'll show you here what it looks like when it's done. All right, well, I was wrong again. That doesn't happen very often, but I was wrong again. Took all this out like I was showing you guys and went to rotate it 90 degrees and it doesn't work that way. The, the cross shape on the back of the receptacle is just a hair bigger in one dimension than the other one. I could have like cheated and you know trimmed out the space plate to make it do what I wanted to do, but that's not the point. Uh, you know, that's not what you're supposed to do. So what I ended up doing was just rotating the whole box sideways. Now, maybe it's not always that you can get that lucky and it's that easy, but for me it was the wires are coming in the back of the box so I can rotate it around if I wanted to. And then it's screwed into the, the cell plate or the, the um, footer plate for the wall. So I did have to modify, I had to drill holes in the box itself because the, the 2x4 is actually back up under here. So I couldn't use the standard screw holes that are right on the edge of the box. So I had to drill holes in the back corner of the box so that when I tightened it down, it sucked it down tight. As you can see, it's not perfectly square in there, but it's behind the stove anyway, so it doesn't matter. But anyway, point being, when you go to install your box for your stove, maybe you should consider installing the box sideways because that's what I end up having to do.